In this video, we will try to understand how to draw shear force and bending moment diagram. Now let us consider a simply supported beam as shown over here carrying a load of 10 kiloton. It also carries a uniformly distributed load of 3 kilonewton per meter as shown in the figure. Now first task we have to find out the reactions RA and RD over here and for that we will have to convert this load of 10 kiloton. So this 10 kiloton will produce a direct load point load of 10 kiloton over here and the moment because it is acting towards right by an amount of 1 meter. So it will produce the clockwise moment about B. So as you can see over here this particular 10 kiloton load that we have shown over here acting at point B and this 10 multiplied by this 1 meter and this arrow will go in the clockwise direction towards B. So it will create a clockwise moment of 10 into 1. So this 10 and the perpendicular distance this horizontal distance is 1 meter. So 10 into 1 that is 10 kiloton meter at point B. Similarly, we have to convert this uniformly distributed load. So uniformly distributed load is 3 and the total length on which this UDL is acting is 4. So 3 into 4 is the total UDL load and it will be acting at the center of 4 meter length that is nothing but 2 meter and that is nothing but point D. So we have converted this UDL into a point load acting at the center. Now for this arrangement first we will find out the beam reactions RA and RD. Now for the calculations of the beam reactions we will consider the upward forces positive, downward forces negative, similarly clockwise moment positive and anti-clockwise moment negative. So as you can see over here we have to apply the conditions of equilibrium. The first condition of equilibrium that we will apply is summation of forces in y direction is equal to 0. So let us use our first condition summation of Fy is equal to 0. Upward forces they are considered as positive whereas downward forces they are considered as negative. Is acting in the downward direction and UDL of 3 into 4 is also acting in the downward direction. So therefore RA plus RD that total will be equal to 10 plus 12 that is 22 kilonewton. That is our first equation. We will apply the second condition of the equilibrium summation of moments is equal to 0. So clockwise positive and anti-clockwise negative. Now we will take moment about point A. So taking moments about point A. Now let us start with RD. RD will produce anti-clockwise moment. So arrow of this RD will go towards A in anti-clockwise direction. So and perpendicular distance from D to A is 6. Similarly 3 into 4 that UDL will produce clockwise moment and the perpendicular distance about A is 6. 10 into 2 that will produce clockwise moment and 10 kN meter that moment is already there at point B. So therefore we can rearrange the terms over here. So it is minus rd into 6 plus this summation total summation is 102 that is equal to 0 and therefore 102 is equal to transfer this negative term on the other side and therefore rd will be equal to 102 by 6 so that is 17 kilometer. Now you can substitute this value of rd in our first equation. So our first equation is ra plus rd is equal to 22. So substitute 
in equation 1 therefore ra will be equal to 22 minus 17 rd value is 17 so it is 5 kilonewton so we have obtained two reactions that is ra is 5 kilonewton and rd is 17 kilonewton Now let us start with shear force diagram calculations. The conventions that we have used is upward forces are considered as positive whereas downward forces they are considered as negative. So for calculation let us see first at point A there is a upward acting force that is reaction at A so it is positive. At B left there is no other force that is acting between A and B. So whatever is the shear force at A the same will be acting at B left. But exactly at point B, we have to take into consideration this effect of downward acting point load. Between B and C, there is no other force that is acting. So whatever is the shear force at B, the same will be at C. At point D left, we have to take into consideration the effect of this uniformly distributed load 3 into 2. Exactly at point D, we have to take into consideration the effect of this upward acting reaction that is RD. Whereas at point E, we have to take into consideration the effect of this UDL of 3 into 2. So let us start with our shear force diagram calculations. So shear force at A will be equal to RA, that is nothing but 5 kN. Shear force at B left will be same as that of shear force at A because no other force that acts between A and B. Shear force exactly at B we have to take into consideration the effect of downward acting 10 kN force. So that is 5 minus 10 that is minus 5 kN. Now no other force acts between B and C. So whatever is the shear force at C left the same will be at C. and that is equal to shear force at B. Then shear force at D left we have to take into consideration the effect of UDL of 3 into 2 also into account and that is acting in the downward direction. So total will be minus 11. Exactly at D we have to take into consideration the effect of reaction RD which is acting in the upward direction. So that will be equal to minus 11 plus RD. RD is nothing but 17. So it is 17 minus 11 that is 6 kN. And finally shear force at E will be equal to this 6. We have to take into consideration the effect of UDL of 3 into 2. So that is acting in the downward direction. So let us start with the bending moment diagram calculations. Conventions used are clockwise positive and anti-clockwise negative. Bending moment at point A will be zero because there is no other force that is acting on the left hand side of A. Then bending moment at B left, so we have to take into consideration the effect of this RA. RA will produce clockwise moment about B. So that is RA multiplied by perpendicular distance is 2. So 5 into 2 that is 10 kN meter. But there is already a bending moment acting at point B. So that we have to add. So this 10 plus 10 kN meter is already acting over here and it is in the clockwise direction so therefore we have used this plus sign. So it is bending moment at B will be 20 kN meter. Then bending moment at C consider all the forces on the left hand side of C. So that is RA multiplied by 4 and minus 10 into 2 plus 10. So this total will be So once again see, 
how to calculate the bending moment at this particular point so this ra will produce clockwise moment about this c so that is positive this 10 kN will produce anti clockwise moment so that is negative and this 10 kN is already present over here and it is in the clockwise direction so that is positive then bending moment at point d again ra will produce clockwise moment so ra into the perpendicular distance from a to d is 6 minus 10 into 4 because 10 will produce anti clockwise moment plus 10 kN meter already clockwise moment is present at b and the moment of udl that is 3 into 2 into 1 so this udl will be acting over here at the center so and that udl is of 3 into 2 and it will produce anti clockwise moment and this distance is 1 meter so ra will produce clockwise moment so this ra will produce clockwise moment about this d so from a up to d the perpendicular distance is 6 this 10 kN it will produce anti clockwise moment so that is negative so 10 into 4 that is 1 plus 1 plus 2 that total will be 4 this 10 kN meter is already present over here at point B and this 3 into 2 this UDL and the perpendicular distance is 1 and it is producing clockwise moment that we have already seen so that total will be minus 6 kN meter and bending moment at point E will be 0 because there is no force that is acting on the right hand side of E now let us draw the shear force diagram so shear force at A then it will remain same at B left and B and then point C then there is a UDL and again shear force at D and then this particular one. so all these values we have indicated over here so shear force at A is 5 shear force at B left is 5 exactly at B it is minus 5 shear force at C left and C is minus 5 shear force at this D left is minus 11 exactly at D it is 6 and shear force at E is 0 now let us draw the bending moment diagram also for this so as you can see over here at A and E bending moment is 0 at B left it is 10 but there is already a moment of 10 kN meter that is acting so that we have added over here then at C it is 10 kN meter and then there is a UDL that is a parabolic curve and again there is a parabolic curve from D to E so in this way we can draw shear force